Hello, and welcome to another episode of Conspiracy Theories with Rachel and Kayla. Hype House Edition. Today, we're going to be going over the recent controversy of the Hype House. So, recently on YouTube, Hype House has split up. If you don't know what Hype House is, Hype House is the Team 10 of TikTok. And we didn't ask for this. No. 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 And since they split up, Rachel and I have done a quick couple of hours. No, not quick. <laughs> a long couple of hours. Many brain cells lost. Deep dive into why they could have broken up. And we have one important one that we have figured out. Would you like to start off with the first one? I'll start off with the first one that I found. Mm -hmm. So you go to famousbirthdays.com and you type in Hype House. There are 21 people that are on record that are a part of the Hype House. Six, 15 boys and six girls. Divide six by two, there's three. Three is an Illuminati number. So the Hype House is the Illuminati. Illuminati. We all know, or maybe you don't know, but the leader of the Hype House, or the one that brings the fame to the Hype House, is Charlie, Charlie D'Amelio. Charlie D'Amelio, with our research, has a whopping 13 million followers. What? Yeah. Whoa. 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 And what does 13 equal? An angel. And what does that mean for Charlie? She was sent by the gods. And so, we've been blessed with Charlie D'Amelio. <laughs> One of our babes in the Hype House is Larray. And recently, um, so recently, I mean the beginning of the year, Larray uploaded this video of him buying a green screen. And in that video, he dances to Victorious's. This is good. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh You're in it. Can like we see you? our most important. <laughs> Finley, we get it. We want to go to the moon. We are trying to film here. <laughs> Finley. <laughs> Dog, everybody. <laughs> Smart, wonderful, intelligent, graceful, <laughs> like slice and rocks. <laughs> Why does it? Truck. Just kidding, we love him. <laughs> he makes the maple barbecue sauce. Right. Yeah. What is it doing? <laughs> we're trying to film. Don't they know we're trying to be YouTubers here? <sighs> Oh, 
We had to change locations because the universe decided that they didn't want us filming on the porch. Her neighbors couldn't handle our hype house conspiracies. It's too hype for them. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the tea. So, to continue off where we left, our next conspiracy theory is about our personal fave, Lorraine. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but at the beginning of the year, Lorraine bought a green screen and he posted some very interesting videos attached to that green screen. One of them being Victoria Justice in Freak the Freak Out. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but Victoria Justice, her acting and singing career is nowhere. It's it was not victorious. victorious. So, our conspiracy is... Lorraine is Victoria Justice. Conspiracy theory? I think so. Conspiracy? Confirmed. Confirmed. And that's the, the tea. tea. Now, for one of our final ones, we're going to talk again about our faith, Addison Rae. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if you saw this, but she downloaded TikTok in July of last year. Yes. And then hit a million followers in October. And there's only one way that she can get so famous <laughs> so, so fast. fast. Illuminati confirmed. confirmed. Not only is Addison Ray the long lost daughter of the Illuminati, but she could also be the prettier Jake Paul. Because he's the only person that's hit, a, hit 5 million subscribers in 6 months. And she did that on TikTok. And that's... That's... The tea. the tea. In conclusion, the Hype House is the Illuminati. The new 2020 Illuminati. It was Team 10, but, but the, now it's the Hype, the hype, hype House. And thank you for coming to our TED Talk. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Our 20 subscribers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, get prepared. Are you all set? Are you all set? I think I'm good. <laughs> Let me shuffle these um, blank pieces of paper. Um, the Shane Dawson stuff, does it look good? Sure. Should we turn the line off, do you think? Or... Um, it adds like an effect. An effect, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 